Hello everyone, my name is Adebola Shelby and I'm here to introduce the one and only Dr. Injakiri Damages. Welcome to the show, my name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York! Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that we spend one million dollars every day to protect our president-elect Donald what? Trump. What? One million dollars, yes. Why? We are rich like that, you know? <laughs> Watch. We've never had that situation before, and certainly not with the focal point location being in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't matter if we like you or not. Mm. Once you are the president elect, we give you all the protections that you need. Yes. Our NYPD officers guard his home, that of Donald Trump, 24 hours of the day. Wow. Now, the busy Fifth Avenue, where the Trump Tower is, is close to traffic. What? Oh, no, yeah. you, can't, you can't go there. You can't drive through there. And our police officers follow him whenever, wherever he goes. When he goes to the restaurant to eat, we follow him. Yeah. When he goes to New York Times for an interview, we follow him. Yeah. And we follow him when he goes after TV sessions, like a bitch for using bad pictures of him on news. Yeah, he, if he sees a bad picture of him on your newspaper, he will come to your newspaper and we follow him. What? Now, we protect him from several groups. Yeah. There are Clinton supporters who are yet to accept that they lost. Mm. <laughs> like this one. Do not vote for the stupid man who doesn't even know that there's uh, Aleppo, there's a Syria uh, a war going on. You're just going to be as dumb as the man, that third party man. <laughs> <laughs> then there are Trump supporters who didn't get the chance to vote for him, like this one. Obama couldn't make America great because he couldn't be him to be who he was. Black men have been slaves. Obama wasn't allowed to do this. Yeah! And still win. He had to be perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Is that okay? West? Oh my god. Has he gone cuckoo? Jay Z called me. Hey, God. Jay Z, I know you got killers. Please don't sit them at my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh god. Okay, but, but more importantly, we protect Donald Trump mm. from his groupies. Yes. Uh, like these ones. Hail Trump. Hail our people. Hail victory. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The Nazis are here, and they have moved from hell Hitler to hell Donald Trump. <laughs> I know, I know. It looks so funny now because their numbers are small, but but we know that they have sleeper cells everywhere in America. And when the time comes, when they get the order from Donald Trump's grandfather's country, Germany, they will activate the cells. I'm sure many of you are laughing out loud, unconcerned. Huh, yeah, I know, I, I know. Let me, let me get an example. Look at the Native Americans. They're not laughing today. Mm -hmm. After bringing the newly arrived English settlers harvest mm -hmm. in 1621 mm -hmm. for what became, for, yeah, the feast, for what became the first Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Look at what's happening to them today. Mm -hmm. While Americans are eating turkey, counting their blessings, watching football, Native Americans in North Dakota are being attacked with tear gas, yes, sure. rubber bullets, yes. and water cannons. Yes. Wow. What a nice way to say happy Thanksgiving to them. Mm. You know, what did they do? They were protesting against the oil pipeline that would pass through their sacred sites mm. and contaminate their water. Yeah. CNN is not reporting this. You can't find it on CNN. People have gone through the fence, men, women, and children. The bulldozers are still going. And they're yelling at the men in hard hats. One man in hard hat threw one of the protesters down. They're not interested, you know. This is exactly what will happen, you know, to all of us when the Trump people, the groupies, if they break out. Now, that is the situation in America. But those outside America don't get it. They don't get it. Yeah. Former Nigeria's Minister of Aviation, uh, Femi Fanikayode, mm. said last week that Trump will confront those with hidden agenda to Islamize Nigeria. Oh, what? <laughs> I know, I know. When Trump read this, this story, he said, who is, who is that nigga? <laughs> who is that black guy mentioning my name? That was what Trump said. Who is that? You know? Now, for the next four years, 
Trump's presidency will not let anyone in America sleep. Mm. America is like a rope, and Trump is like a, a fowl that, that landed on the rope. Mm. The fowl dances, so does the rope. Mm. Let, me, let me illustrate that for those of you who don't understand what I'm saying. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but that's not a foul now. But anyway, anyway, I will take that. We will take that any day. <laughs> Can you show that again? Wow. No, that's No. Talking about people dancing, Pope Francis, our favorite Pope, mm. granted Catholic priests the right to forgive abortion. Really? I know, I know. When I saw the news flash on what? CNN, I said, wow. I said, damn. You know, you see, I was under the impression that it was God that who forgives. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that the, 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 some special sins like abortion were reserved for bishops to forgive. Yeah. I wonder who forgives pastors who abuse young boys. I the, the Pope? Who who does that? <laughs> now, now, no wonder churches are in disarray across the world. Yeah, so. In South Africa, Prophet Letebo Rabalago used pesticide to heal church members. Hey, the, man, the, man, the man was showing spreading <laughs> pesticide called doom on the faces of his worshippers. Uh -huh. no. Now, now, I, I know, I know, at this point, those people are nothing but worshippers. They are worshipping the man. They are not worshipping God anymore. They are worshipping the man. Now, news media called the prophet a prophet of doom. <laughs> I know, I know. You would think that he would find a different kind of pesticide, not the one called doom. But anyway, <laughs> he came out to defend himself. No, oh, the man was smart. Listen to him. We are in the spirit. How can we question the spirit? These are the words of the spirit. Carnal people cannot understand it. These are the words of the spirit. Like, from, listen, you look at my age, you check where, you know, it's not me who decides to do all these things. It's God. Oh, my God. I know, I know. What a very faithful man of God. I'm sure that... You won't blame me if I say that each time I hear the word pest now, what comes to mind is prophet. Prophet, no. Prophet. Pest, they are like pest now everywhere. <laughs> you find so many of them. I wish you could have something to, to, to use to eliminate some of them. There are many now. Anyway, wow. still on prophets and messiahs. Last week, the Nigerian presidency announced that Buhari, President Muhammad Buhari, will run for a second term in 2019. What? I know. I was surprised too. I was. I was. He, he, there are some pictures of him you look at. You wonder why will he put this burden on himself again for another four years? Mm -hmm. Now the presidency was forced to say that because the likes of Atiku, Atiku Babubaka, we are turning Buhari into a lame duck president, wow. even before he spent two years in power. Wow. Now Buhari supporters said that the man had not even implemented one full budget, and the opposition are already had written him off. Unfortunately, that statement from the presidency was not enough to stop Atiku's train. Mm -hmm. The train has left the station. Mm -hmm. When I say that the train is off the station, I really mean it. Off the station. Mm -hmm. Here is Abu Bakr Atiku drinking pure water. <laughs> oh, I know. Wow. Finally, he is one of us. Whoa. As pure as pure water, he is drinking. Wow. Yes. Yes. Down to earth. Yes. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, here is Atiku eating food with internally displaced people. Really? Look at, look at him. Look at the picture very well. Wow. This is not how real people eat food. No, yeah? He could not even pretend to be enjoying it like all the other hypocrites. <laughs> this is not how people eat food. Yeah. Sometimes when you are a loser, you are just a loser. Yes. There is nothing you can do about it. You can't change it. You're just a loser. <laughs> now, I'm talking about losers. El Rufai lost in the high stake game what? of who will marry Sarah Buhari. Really? The daughter of the uh, president of Nigeria, Mohammed Buhari. Wow. You, oh yeah, he lost. The news broke last week that Zera will marry the son of Bono billionaire, Ahmed Idimi. Do you know yeah. the guy? Oh yeah, the guy has so much money throwing really? it around. Now, at first I was sorry for Aerofire. Mm. And then after thinking about it, I said to him, Npa. <laughs> Npa. No, if only he had publicly declared his assets and let the world know how many billions he has, Zera would have taken him seriously. Right. You know, but the man refused to declare his assets. You know, he really shortchanged himself. Uh -huh. 
just so you know, I used short changed intentionally. You know, the man is short and, <laughs> and he needed to boost his position by showing how tall his longing for Zera was from how deep his pocket is. But, but the man, he short changed himself. Now, why are the men in Nigeria doing verbal ac acrobatic mm -hmm. over who will be the president of Nigeria come 2019? Mm -hmm. Grace Mugabe, the wife of President Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe, just picked a bowl of power soup and flipped it. No. Oh, yeah, watch. Oh. Julio! Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 it wasn't Grace, it wasn't Grace. But, but it might as well be. You know, last week, Grace Mugabe announced that she will be the next president of Zimbabwe when her husband finally steps down. Wow. I know, I know. They asked her, when would that happen? You know, she said, whenever the, his ghost finally takes leave of his body. Ah. Because the body, the problem with the Mugabe is that the body and the ghost are together. They, they have yeah. not separated them. He's already dead, but, you know. On <laughs> no, no, no. In sports news, people say, I don't talk about sports. In sports news, police have arrested a fifth senior Kenyan Olympic official mm -hmm. in their investigation into missing money and equipment following the Rio 2016 games. Wow. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're investigating. When police went to the home of Ben Ekumbo, mm. the vice president of Kenyan Olympic Committee, mm. he was found hiding under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> under the bed. The wives, wow. were, the wives surrounded wow. the bed. And... Now, 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 Nigerian sports fans are wondering why police have not arrested Nigeria's sports minister mm. for investigation into his missing brain. Oh yeah, Mr. Solomon Dalong told the Voice of America House of Service mm. that Nigeria does not need to attend the next World Cup holding in Russia. What? Oh yeah, huh? the wise man, the wise man gave the following reasons. He said that that competition stinks of corruption, Hi. that Nigeria is too poor to waste money on it, mm. and that Nigeria will never win the trophy. <laughs> no, no. I know, I know, I know. The wise man continued. He continued. He said, he said that conspiracy in the World Cup is too much. We are suffering from hunger and we don't have money for such things. <laughs> now, now, on a second thought, it, it is not the man's fault. You know, there is a part of his brain that is missing. Exactly. If the police cannot arrest him for us, at least Buhari should help us neuter the man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh Another year of listening to him will give all of us traumatic brain injury. Yes. I'm beginning to feel that, you know, this is the segment we call Secrets of Pictures. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand words. Now, the first picture you're looking at is the picture of the central bank governor, Godwin Emefele, uh, with President Buhari. I think they were praying something. It looks like they are praying over there. I don't know about you, but this must be how to keep your job 101 yeah. <laughs> by Godwin yeah. MFA. Anything your boss is doing, just keep doing yeah. it. Like Mumu, so. like Mumu. That's how you keep your job. No wonder I'm not, I've not been promoted here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear those things they put on there. You know, those calories. You know. <laughs> now, the second picture you're looking at is that of the former Christian Association of Nigeria president, Ayo. Oriso Jaffo, Pastor Ayo. You know, you know, you guys know him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In that picture, armed security men surrounded the man of God as he attended an event. You know, this is what I'm talking about. A cow that has no tail prays that God will chase the flies away. But the cow that has a tail hires dozens of armed men to chase away the flies. That's that's what you're seeing there. That's that exactly. It's a proverb. I'm putting it in in, in the contest. Now, the next picture you're looking at is that of a make of false father's coffin. Mm. What? Yeah, oh. yeah, coffin. That is 15 million naira gold plated Yay. coffin. You know, this is what I'm talking about. That is what, that, this guarantees the man express path to heaven. Mm. The problem was that nobody came. I mean, all the top government officials did not come because they were thinking that Donald Trump will be there and the Archbishop of Canterbury will be there. So they said, Let me, nobody will remember us. Let's just wait. <laughs> ah! Now, the next picture you're looking at is that of Reverend Sam Zugu from Ebony State. Mm? The man turned cold water into hot water. What? 
Oh yeah. Now Jesus, Jesus, if you remember, turned yeah. water into wine. Yes. Now is the problem of a bony people the the issue of you know they, are they having problem with turning cold water into? Is that <laughs> why? Is that? I want now. <laughs> ah, pastors, they are the problem we have. Oh. I'm telling you, all of them. That's why Africa <laughs> is the way it is. Yes. They, so... They've destroyed Africa. Yeah, you, you. <laughs> Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. Those plotting to disintegrate Nigeria won't succeed, says the Speaker of the House of Rep. You know him, Dogara. You know the guy. He said they will not succeed. I said, why are you worrying about them, eh? Those of you eating up Nigeria. Are doing a good job breaking it up into small, small pieces. No, don't worry about those who are plotting to disintegrate. You are doing a good job, my man. <laughs> you are doing a good job. Keep chopping Nigeria, eating everything we have. <laughs> TB Joshua. The prayers of Americans reversed my prophecy on U.S. election. <laughs> this is this a wonderful guy. This guy is wonderful. He added that God was too busy to inform him that there was a change. <laughs> Because if there was a change and God told you that this will happen, God will call, tell you again, say, ah, my, my, my prophet, something changed now. <laughs> but God was too busy to tell him that, oh, there was a change. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Eliminating ghost workers saves Nigeria 20 billion naira monthly. 20 billion. Did you hear that? What? So, so in a year, we saved 240 billion. Mm. In two years, 480 billion. So, so I ask you again, why are we borrowing money from, from China? Why are we borrowing money if we are saving all this money? Why? Somebody is lying to us. Is it you? <laughs> Mr. Ibu meets Atiku Abubakar and says he is God sent to humanity. Do you know the Mr. Ibu, the one that is a comedian? Uh, he met Abubakar and Atiku Abubakar who running for president. And after meeting Abubakar, he said, this is God sent to humanity. Now, I sent my crack reporters to talk to humanity, and they said, no comments. <laughs> no comments. We don't know what you're talking about. No comments. Mm. Can you believe that? Eh? Ibu, you see a politician now. You see the one interpreting. Exactly. Just Dolapo Oshimbajo harvests yam in her Asorok backyard. Mm. Did you see the picture? I, uh... It was wonderful. She was using gloves to harvest yam, you know, in Africa. Uh... Now, <laughs> now, <laughs> for, for, those of you who have been waiting for the famine that is coming in January, it has been cancelled. <laughs> Looking at that yam, you know there's not, nothing will happen to Nigeria. We have food. If you're hungry, go to the home of the vice president. At the backyard, you can get enough. 13-year-old mm. student impregnates teacher. No, no, this is in the <laughs> punch, punch newspaper. 13-year-old student <gasps> impregnates teacher. You now, now, fella, fella, oh. fe this is in punch. It's and not blood. In punch newspaper, I don't care. It's in punch newspaper. Now, Fela warned all teachers not to teach students nonsense. Uh -huh. This is what happens when you teach them nonsense. The student, 13 year old, in da, 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 da. <laughs> Quack doctor arrested after 11 years of practice. This is from Punch again. A quack doctor practicing in Nigeria was arrested after 11 years. Now, since uh, this is my fifth year of practice, I still have uh, six years before before I'm arrested. Ah, no shaking, no shaking. <laughs> Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes and I always got hand-me-downs. Now she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is Moving Money for Better. <laughs> it's time for your email. It's time for your email. Wow. Tomato yeah. Joss, uh, um, what happened to your uniform again? It's Thanksgiving. Let's it's give Thanksgiving. thanks. Eh? Uh, so, sure, <laughs> sure, for Thanksgiving. All right. All right. This, this that's oh, okay. That's I'm in good please. mood today. Today. I want to show up. Tomorrow. Eh? Anyway. <coughs> never, <coughs> never mind. 
<laughs> Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so all right, all right. Let's hear the let's hear the emails. I know. Anyway, I know, I know. our first email is from Enazo Tapiwa. Oh, that's my friend. Mm -hmm. That's my friend. From where? <laughs> from the other place. <laughs> yeah, we, we went to school together. Mm. Okay, he writes. Mm. Good day, Dr. Damage. I told you. I, I told am you. Enazo Tapiwa, a huge fan of your work. He's and I've been following this show for a while now. Good guy. In the last show, you mm. suggested Governor Ayo Fayoshe as Nigeria's Trump. Mm. I think I have a better person that fits that profile. Uh -uh. Permit me to introduce to you Nigeria's Donald Trump. Uh -uh. He's no other person than Senator Dino Malai. Ah. Sense, eh? not, that's it. That's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally, special mention to Tomato Joss and your mm. crack reporters. Mm. You and your team are doing an amazing job. Thank you, job. thank you, thank, thank you, my man. You see, see, Dino was a good candidate. We mm. considered him very well. We, we spent time considering him. He has his records with women, beating up women, hey. and, oh. and grabbing whatever he was grabbing. So, so he fitted into Hello. that. Uh, where he lost was uh, he lost points in not being able to communicate with ordinary folks. Mm. Mm. He speaks to big, big grammar. Mm -hmm. And market women are not going to dance with him, you know. So that's why, that's why, that's why he lost. So we are standing with fire, fire share, you know. Next, okay. Yeah. Our second email is from Tunde in Rome. Tunde in oh yes, Italo, Italo, mm -hmm. you know. You know we, 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 he will speak it for you. He will use the speak it for <laughs> Yeah, when I need to be there, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. You. Yeah. In Italy. I've visited. <laughs> You yeah. visited. Yeah. You were not there. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> he writes, yeah. Dr. Damage, how are you doing? Oh, we're good. We're good. This is the first time I'm sending you mm. an, an email. email. Wow, mm -hmm. we like that. I like your show and all the people around you. Thank you. Each one of them is unique and I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Tomato man. Joss. Uh -uh. Hmm. Eh? What is this? <laughs> to say brava. Oh. Say that's, not, that's not how you speak you are Italian. How, how do you say it? Julius Caesar, don't you, don't you, you have to put life in it. How do you say it? To sauve voir. Ah. <laughs> so hey. I about that. No. Okay. Go ahead. You are good. Nigeria is really in trouble. And I wonder how people survive now in Nigeria mm. as a result of the recession. Uh -huh. In this situation, mm. somebody still had the audacity to say, selling mm. my car won't end Nigeria's recession. That's it. I've ordered for more. <laughs> <laughs> With this statement, you are laughing. I With this you. statement, mm -hmm. it is clear that what will end Nigeria's recession is the death of people like Malai, mm -hmm. Saraki, mm -hmm. Obasa, and Joe. Mm -hmm. I mean, all these stupid people in the government, nonsense. Hey. He said it too, not me. Eh? Don't come for me. <laughs> tunde, 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 I beg, I beg. I take God, beg you. I, I'm a doctor. Hmm? Hmm. My job is to save people from death. Ah. Not to wish death on them. Yes. Mm. You know, my goal is to keep those people alive so that they will see how they messed up this country mm. and how beautiful it could be. Mm. That's my job. Mm. I don't wish them to die. They should live and see. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Our third email is from a fan. Oh, we don't know his Anonymous. name. Anonymous. No, okay. okay. <laughs> they are he people writes, like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dear Doctor. Yes, ma'am. I like your show. Wow. And I had to show my granny the show. Uh -uh. <laughs> Grandma is watching the show. She said you should behave well. Grandma is watching She the manages show. to watch as many episodes and brought to my attention that all those episodes are only full of negative news. Uh -uh. None of the episodes has anything positive. <laughs> Please, bring... <laughs> Why are you We're laughing? We're in trouble. I mean, this is, this is an indictment of this show. Go ahead. He said, please bring to us some positive news and advise us mm. also what you've done to help the community. Uh, uh, Granny's request. This is this is a <laughs> challenge. Yeah, hey, uh, we love grandma. Anytime, grandma, anyone, you know. You see, you see that business of good news. You see, I, I'm a doctor. Mm. And for the most part, people come to see a doctor only when they are sick. Mm. That is why we plan to open a wellness office. Ah. Right now, we are dealing with sick people. That's why it sounds as if it's all bad news. No, no. That's the problem. <laughs> but grandma, keep watching. We will eventually, we will get to see people who are healthy. There are a lot of sick people in Nigeria, in Nigeria, in Africa. Mm. That's why. You know, it's not our fault. Is, it, is it our fault? Why not? No, we, we, it's not. We try. Mm. <laughs> That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's taken from page four now of the book, Why I'm Thankful by Zig Ziglar. Mm. And it says, You can have everything you want in life if you just help enough other people 
get what they want. Mm. Amen. If you help me get what I want, you can. What do you want? We'll talk about that. Ah. <laughs> until ah. next week. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You hear yourself. Another way of saying is if you lift me up, you also go up. No, no, I don't mean. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> How what? do we? No. If you lift somebody up, you are going up yourself. If you help people to but get to where they want. You are heavier than me. So. <laughs> no, no, you don't, it's not physical. I know, I know. You know, yeah. I know, I know, yeah. I know the doctor. doctor, doctor some mm-hmm. people wrote to uh, Donald Trump that they should ship your guy back home. <laughs> ship, ship will go home. Ship will go home. Oh, seriously? Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Did you hear that? Listen, that a Moyo race is, is on I the way no on, 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 on his way home. Donald Trump will. <laughs> that, would, that, that would be the subject of our show next week. We All are going I to address. Know is, I know who signs but, my but, check. But for now, for now, we we'll say. I know who signs my check. Oh, have a nice Thanksgiving. Wow. Nice. They are mo- Why didn't I sign it? Do you have the letter? <laughs> <on your side? laughs> Doctor. I mean, you so signed that. That, so that was one of course that himself. What? Oh. I didn't know that. Let's sign it, all of us. Ah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, I'm begging you. Can you go and watch more? They, they asked me to do this. Otherwise, there won't be, you know, things are hard. Watch watch more. I, in fact, there's somewhere I'm cooking a goose. Subscri- also, subscribe to the Sahara YouTube account. What is the name of the account again? Anyway, subscribe. Whatever they say, subscribe. Click on it. Please. For me, for me. Nice. Thank you. Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at Delhi Raba Michele off Raja Rasaki Road, Fos Estate, Amuo, or the Fifth Estate. For more information or reservation, please call us on 080 or 080 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.